Afro was originally a manga created by a guy named Takashi Okazaki. It was turned into a TV show by Spike TV. And then we actually got the game rights um, at the same time that they got greenlit. So both the TV show and the game were being made simultaneously. So we've been a part of that family for um, six, seven years now. So. The story of Afro is basically about a, a young kid whose father was killed uh, in front of him and his, his sort of journey to revenge his father's death. But in Afro 2, the game we're making, Afro was actually adopted you know, by a group of, of people who loved him and, and he turned on the, that, that family. And so this is a story of how his older brother is going to find him to get him really uh, to repent for his sins. It's a story of as much of revenge and responsibility to your family. Yes. And where, does that, where do you draw that line? As the story goes on, it actually deepens. So it mm -hmm. starts in the, in the beginning, it's revenge, it's retribution, mm -hmm. uh, where Kuma wants to avenge the death of, uh, among others, his youngest sister. Mm -hmm. But then as you play the game, as the story kind of broadens and deepens, you as a player yeah. come to understand that revenge is not necessarily the be all and end all of existence. Afro Samurai 2 is an episodic game. The gameplay is structured around the storytelling because we want the gameplay to be fresh. You're a partner in this journey. You could actually participate in it, be a fan in a way you couldn't be when it came to the TV show. The episodes, you know, all link together yeah, yeah. Uh, thematically, yeah. uh, also, you know, story-wise. One of the things that we're hoping to do with the way that the game is constructed is incorporate feedback from the players. In each volume, the player is actually gaining combat styles through all the new characters and storylines that they follow, but also gameplay. What we want to do is have Kuma in an action-adventure setting, learning and doing new things, changing your character, and molding it to the gameplay that you see in this new chapter. Afro was a very hardcore game in the past. We've shrunken that down to a very tactical um, situation where you're hitting one button with modifiers, you're updating your character and, and investing in that character's styles. The music is the blood. It's a rock opera, right, but in hip hop. Every new volume will have a completely new soundtrack from a completely new contributor. The RZA has actually been the musical director across the entire franchise. I need to get his soul into this franchise. And the easiest way to do that is to give him a character that, that can go on this journey with Kuma. So he has this whole story that fits into the Afro universe. And you actually, it's an ongoing storyline. So he's not just some yeah, character right. so that- Yeah, so he's gonna be around. Probably. It's not a cameo. He is now a part yeah. of the franchise, which is hot sauce. That's hot ciggity <laughs> sauce. That's like eight gallons of hot sauce. <laughs>